Okay, guys, so um, on this section, I will show you how to create a uh, randomize the movement of the Y axis on the car. So if you look at on this video, you can see that um, the car is checking. So we kind of try to create illusion of a engines is on. So the car is kind of shake. So, and I will show you how to do it. Now, so now I am selecting the controller here. In the controller, I have a extra attribute that I has add. It's called SK Auto Shake, and this volume is basically control how much shaking will happen, and um, it's has an expression into the control. Uh, no expression to control this. Let me show you. Hold on. Here we go. Right here. The skull. So the I spell it incorrect, but the the skull car has a expression on translate y. You can actually add both y and x or even z. You could do all three if you like, but it's just because I just want to show you that you can do it. Either one or more attributes. So how do we do it though? So let me go to edit expression. Okay. And this is it. This is the uh, scripting or the expression. So basically, I create a variable called min and max. And variable is equal to these volumes, the attribute of the score car underscore GP main and um, underscore, um, oh, sorry, r right here. So main GPY, and these will be a command of rand or uh, randomize. So random on minimum of this and variable of min and max. And these each means will do a one subtracts a score auto check divided by 100. That will be minimum. So using subtraction values and minimize it by a noise randomly and then same as the max you are 100% plus because it's positive and randomize the auto checks divided by 100% so 0 to 100 and then we control by those values you can add 1, 2, or 10 something like that and then uh, randomize the moving up and down. So that's what it is. So how do we create this? Let's do it together. First, you need to make sure you set up your project as usual. I already set the project up. Let me, uh, oh, no, I did not, sorry. <laughs> that was in the different folder animation lecture and we are on seven here we go and that one oops double click too far set now you need to add a new add to build on the original file so I'm gonna go to original rig and I have rig number uh, I'm gonna open my rig first yeah. okay so this is the original file and under controller we need to create a new add to build so before that let me expand this make sure you expand all of the label until you see the um, you all car node or whatever you call it i just call a skull car gp 
you can call like all GP and things like that because we're gonna check this because these if I move can you see every part of the engines and shape will follow so but they are below the other controller you don't want it to control right expression to control all of the pivot control and the main control because you want it to be free of any control so that they become more uh, higher hierarchy so now we just want that name that's all and so i'm gonna select the main ctl go to modify add add to build and this is the add to build window we're gonna put the long name so um it's better to put a name of the object because you will have a red car green car or other type of car so even though it's an attribute editor we should specify the name so that won't have any um, name conflict later so i'm going to put sk underscore and i'm going to use lowercase on uh, auto uppercase is fine and then shake there we go and then minimum volumes will be zero and maximum volumes you can put any numbers you want i could i go to 10 default zero and click add so now we had we have sk auto shake okay so we're gonna close that and when you see a space is mean underscore okay so now we're gonna just right click on this highlight it not right click sorry highlight the label so that we can use edit menu and choose expression now we will get this so basically we want this name auto check this add to build to be used so what we are gonna do is um if you remember um you can create an expression directly to the skull car but what we are trying to do is we try to create a switch or the switch volumes that we can dial from 0 to 10 and control how much the percentage of shaking which is move up and down on translate y is so that's why we do this way um, we're gonna put dollar sign on it dollar sign is variable and then you're gonna put the name of the dollars uh, of the variable so we're gonna put sk underscore because it's try to match the name and then min so this is the name of the variable that we're gonna use and we're gonna specify what that name's for so we're gonna put a negative volumes of the minimum volumes first one minus or subtract and then we're gonna put this in there this add to build I'm gonna middle mouse drag and drop in there and then I'm gonna divide it by 100 percent and I'm gonna put semicolon to stop so now we have minimum and the maximum we're gonna put another variable sk underscore max equal to one positive this town because it's positive volumes and I'm gonna just copy that so that I don't have to type there we go same negative which is the minimum to positive now what does this do 
we gonna tell them that the this object there don't click okay if you click this gun you're gonna get off from there so don't click <laughs> but skull so I'm gonna put a s k u l l car underscore gp now dot translate y equal to what equal to here we go and then you're gonna put a parenthesis put parenthesis and inside parenthesis will be min so variable sk underscore min comma oop, variable the dollar sign sk underscore max and now we know this is what we want but we want what we want randomize those minimum and maximum variable on this so we're gonna put rand it stands for randomize or random and so what we are telling us is randomize these volumes one minus skull dot uh, uh skull car min ctl dot sk auto shake and minimum set on the minimize and maximize so and then you click create if your name is spelling correctly you will get a result expression and I forgot to rename it so let's name I'm gonna call ex pre and this one is skull car shake XP and you can press enter to execute it so now if it doesn't execute we can check it from here choosing a select filter by expression name now you have that expression so now when you re-reference this object uh, this file into your animation it will carry this expression so it mean if you can view when you switch to the uh, by expression name you might have 10 20 of them you can identify them really easy okay so I'm gonna close that now we're gonna put this to test so at the moment though we don't have any keyframe can you see right here if changing if I change a uh, volumes on here let's try how about we, we get maximum 10 right so let's do 10 and then click play now you can see it's checking so it's mean it's work and if I reduce to how about one so it's less checking it's like a engine stalling right if I said correct here we go so that's it that's how you do it so now the good things about this is when I save scene, I'm going to save scene as into a different version. So this time I'm going to do 05. So now when I open my file, let's set a animation. And go to, I'm still using animatic, so number four here. Okay. So, oh, wait a minute. I think I should be on number two. Number four is all right. I already edit them in my color space always does that. So right now, um, let, let me check, see if it's the right one. So I'm going to go to reference editor and right here. Okay. So the skull car, right? So I'm going to replace it. Reference, replace reference. And I'm going to pick the rigging number five. There we go. Okay. So the animation going to be exactly same. 
except this time when I select the uh, scorecard group hold on that's the name so I select this and oh because when I saved the file I didn't change the auto so I set it to 5 by default so anyway I can do 2.5 and then when I click play it's checking and here we go so that's it all right that's it for now